What do we have for Gemini? Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy at the foundation of the reading, Gemini. Gemini, one of the messages that I got for you, and I actually wrote this one down, it was amongst my downloads, was in regards to you not lowering your standards to individuals that aren't willing to put the same work into their spiritual path that you've been putting in to yours. Because if you do this, you're going to manifest yourself onto a timeline where you essentially become Cinderella, male or female, right? It's an energy of manifesting yourself onto a timeline where you grow old and bitter with individuals that are a reflection of you lowering your standards. Now, when that download came through, I can definitely relate to that. And I thought that it was very straight to the point. I mean, it really says it all. Right now, you're in a time where you're being tested. It's like the divine has been working on a lot of you. There's been a tremendous amount of growth in your life. Now you've reached a point where there's about to be another level up. And usually when we reach these points on our journey, on our path, spiritually speaking, tests come through to make sure that we're able to overcome everything that we've learned to overcome on the particular cycle that we're getting ready to close out. And for a lot of you, Gemini, I feel like this is coming in the form of some sort of temptation. And it's something that looks good on the surface, but beneath the surface, there's something hidden. And what's hidden is that there's an energy here that looks like energies that you've already graduated on from. This Seven of Swords is a very sneaky kind of energy here. Very deceptive. It's like somebody wants to come onto your path, Gemini, and throw away everything that you've worked so hard to attain up until this point. And it could most definitely be material, but I'm just more picking up energy, right? Like spiritual growth. It's an energy of going through the awakening process, really aligning yourself with source and calibrating with your path and mission. And then somebody coming along and trying to re-engage you into the simulation, to the matrix, into the everyday grind amongst the sheeple all over again. Gemini, you've gone through points in your awakening where this has actually worked. We all have. I've spoken about this before. We go through these little kind of awakenings. They're like little beta tests, right? A lot of you went through these 10, 15 years ago, and you went back to sleep. And then a few years later, you would have another little awakening, maybe go back to sleep. And then you had another one. And then finally, you have a big one, right? And you're able to stay awake. You're able to remember everything you learned. See, spiritual awakening is so interesting because those little beta tests, it's almost like you can't retain what you learn. It's like you get a little peek at how things work, how the mechanics of life move. But then it's like you can't hold on to that information. It's just a little glimpse. It's almost like a dream that you completely forget as soon as you wake up, no matter how hard you try. But this time, Gemini, this wisdom that you've gathered, this isn't going anywhere. But that doesn't mean that this energy is not going to come back around and try and take it from you. It's usually during these specific kinds of level ups that you're getting ready to have, Gemini, that you see that there's a kind of dark force at play in this universe that is trying at all costs to get us to go back to sleep. And the way this energy will show up is in the form of people. It's like these people are extensions of some sort of dark force. It's a devilish kind of energy. Wants you to lower your guard and step back into the simulation. You know, a real basic example of this that everyone can probably relate to is somebody who stops hanging out with certain people because they party too much. They go to the bars and they drink, and this person just doesn't want to live that kind of lifestyle anymore. But then maybe one of these old friends comes around and says, oh, don't be such a square. Don't be so boring. Just come out with us. It's, it will be harmless. So this person goes out and winds up having a drink, right? Maybe after not drinking for a couple of years, and it's like they wake up six months or a year later, and they're right back where they started. Their life looks exactly like it did before their spiritual awakening. See, there's specific access points by which the devil, the underworld, will gain access to us. It's going to be different for everybody. For example, myself, and I've spoken about this before, especially in, in a lot of the most recent readings, the way the devil accessed me was through drinking. It wasn't until I gave up drinking six years ago did my life really start to flourish and did I get on my path. And so now I know that anytime somebody tries to come into my energy that is trying to persuade me to 
you know, say go have a drink with them or ha hang out with them. I'm alerted that this is an agent of the underworld, an agent of the devil. The devil is working through that person to get to me, whether they know it or not. And I would like to think that most of the time they don't even know it. But the thing is, you make yourself a vessel for this dark force when you are living your life in accordance with a vibration that allows the devil to access you. So specific behavioral patterns that somebody implements into their life will make them a vessel, will allow them to be used to get to you. So this is why it's very important, Gemini, that when you get on this path like you are now, you're very mindful of who wants to come around you, who pops up out of nowhere, what new people are popping up. You're, of course, going to attract new people that are a reflection of this new energy you're projecting out into the universe, but you're also going to still have these other kinds of individuals trying to weasel their way back into your energy. This is why discernment is your best friend. You don't want to close yourself off to everybody because that doesn't get you anywhere, but you do want to arm yourself with the proper discernment to make sure you're letting the right people in. So I think that the best way to look at this right now, Gemini, is to just be very cautious of people wanting to re-enter your life that you haven't spoken to in a while because there seems to be an energy here that is going to do whatever they can to stop this next evolution on your path. What do we have at the sacral, please? Wow. <sighs> Unbelievable. The tower. Mars, Aries, Scorpio energy at the sacral. And I'm smiling cheek to cheek right now, Gemini, because the tower for me in a reading like this is indicating elevation, right? It's like you're busting through the foundation of this previous cycle. You are the tower in this case. And these individuals here are being thrown from the tower. These are all the people that you no longer align with. These are individuals that don't serve your highest good. This is indicating the cycle that is closing out in your life. You're releasing any sort of false securities. It's like you've had this revelation surrounding this previous life cycle and you're preparing to move on from it. But there's always going to be these agents, right? I call them agents of the underworld, so to speak. Could be your family members. It could be friends. It could be exes. You just never know how this energy is going to show up. But it's like you've had this revelation. You're starting to see things from a different perspective now and you understand enough of how energy works to realize that when you are about to have an elevation, you must be on high alert because you're also going to be subjected to energetic attacks. And, you know, I've been feeling it post this most recent full moon we had, Gemini. The energy has been um, really irritating. And this is the best way I can put it. And it's because there's a large portion of the collective that is about to graduate on to the next level in the game. So now's the time, Gemini, just to hold the line. That's really the best way I can put it, okay? Don't fall for any of this. Some of you may even have individuals trying to get into relationships with you right now out of nowhere, picking up um, just a lot of desperation surrounding the Gemini collective, desperation to stop you from moving on with your life, Gemini, and stepping into this new timeline. The end of every cycle comes with a test and a decision. For some people, I'm hearing that you may even have an ex come back from the past, somebody that maybe you've been waiting on, maybe you were holding out for. All of a sudden, they just pop up out of nowhere. Oh, hey, Gemini. Looking good, Gemini, you know. Been thinking about you. Gemini, you need to be very careful, okay? Because that person, whoever that is for you, is the devil's last ditch effort to get you to relinquish your duty is what I just heard on your path. Wow. So this really speaks about the importance of some of your missions here, right? Quite often say that the bigger the struggle, the bigger the mission, the heavier the attacks, the more important you must be, right? Otherwise, why all the effort? If anything, Gemini, now's the time to really double down, raise your standards even higher, stay away from people that aren't willing to put the work in, stay away from people that want you to meet them down on their level. Stay away from anybody that's not supporting you right now at the frequency that you are vibrating at. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Two of cups, cancer energy at the solar plexus. Oh, hey, Gemini. You're looking good, Gemini. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. Literally followed what I just said. Something's not right here, Gemini.
Seven of Swords tower with the Two of Cups. Something is not what it seems. It's like the devil is really prettying himself up, presenting you with something that is very irresistible, presenting you with everything you've always wanted. And it's coming in at that solar plexus position. See, you're in this energy where you're preparing to, again, step into this new timeline. It's like you're going through this evolution in your life. And you've overcome every single test that the devil has put on your path. You've overcome all the obstacles. But now you're presented with this offer, this obstacle. And when these come through, Gemini, it's it's very strong. You know, we all want to be loved. We all enjoy companionship, I guess, for the most part. Some of you may not, but I feel that what this is here is just so veiled and almost irresistible. This is one of those tests, Gemini, that strips away that knowledge, like I was speaking about, right? That we lose during the beta tests. But this one's different because it's coming at the end of a very long road that you have all been traveling down. And for those of you that have been walking this path alone, it can it can get rough doing that for an extended period of time. So when somebody does come onto your path, you, you want to trust it, you know? You just want to feel human again. But Gemini, this is not it. What do we have at the heart, please? Wow. Unbelievable. The lovers. Gemini, that's your energy right there at the heart. I mean, how strong is this energy? Come on, Gemini, let's go walk through the garden together. Let's go. Let's go try one of these red delicious apples right here, Gemini. This energy that I'm looking at right here has temptation written all over it. I mean, we even have the apple tree there, right? With the serpent. We have it twice. Somebody's coming through with a temptation, but it's to stop your elevation because your elevation creates some sort of a domino effect. This domino effect is in alignment with evolution and awakening. It creates a positive shift. It's basically you getting a win for the divine, Gemini. That's the simplest way I can put this here. This energy here is doing whatever it takes to make sure that you do not step into this new timeline. Right? Doesn't it look like an illusion, like a fairy tale? Like, come on, Gemini, just let's go walk over here. Let's go walk through the stream together, and you're like, oh my God, it's so dreamy, right? It's like this illusion that the devil casts over you. It reminds me of a movie. It's like in a movie when somebody's walking through like a haunted forest or something, and the individual hears a voice calling out, Gemini, come over here, Gemini. I'm over here, Gemini. And then the person goes over there, and they think that they're walking towards some sort of sweet angelic voice, but then they stumble across a drooling beast. Now I'm seeing Little Red Riding Hood in my mind's eye. What do we have at the throat? High Priestess. That actually came out more in the reverse. Pisces energy at the throat. Yeah, Gemini, there's something going on here where it's like the divine is trying to send you signals, trying to send you these downloads, and it's coming through, but this temptation is so strong, it's almost like, Gemini, what I'm picturing right now, it's like you're sitting on the phone with the divine, right? Going over some downloads, and then all of a sudden, somebody comes into your energy, this temptation comes into your energy, and you're like, hold on a second, divine, I just need to talk to this person. And the divine's like, no, Gemini, no, Gemini, don't, don't do it. Don't talk to them. That's the devil. And then you put down the phone, right? But you don't hang it up. And then it's like you wander off into like this fantasy. And the divine's on the phone. They're like, no, Gemini, come back. Don't do it. And this is the kind of energy that I'm getting here. I mean, it's kind of funny, but this is the way that they're having me give you this message. This energy has a hidden agenda, and there's something about when this person comes around, it's like you stop listening to your inner voice. Your intuition starts to become blocked because it's like you lose focus. It's like they have a way of taking you off your path. It's like 
It's like you have to disengage with your higher self just to give this energy an audience. And this really speaks about vibration, where you're at and where they are, right? You lowering yourself down to meet them on their level. There's many different ways this can show up. This can speak about your morals, your standards, everything that you've built up and strengthened in recent years, just all been thrown out by the presence of this person or whatever this is here I'm picking up, right? And it's like, here you are. It's almost like you're reaching out to touch them, like, oh my God, is that really you? And they're like, yeah, Gemini, th this is me. I'm back now. Now we can be together. But it's actually the devil in disguise. Come on, Gemini. Let's, let's go have a walk in the garden. There's, let's go have a red delicious. What do we have for the third eye? Wow. Death. Scorpio at the third eye. Confirms everything I'm saying here. We have the tower and death in the same spread. The death card in this reading is representing your transformation. Death to this old cycle. This is why all of this is taking place. Gemini... You know, depending on how this is showing up in your life, I can confirm this to be very true for all of us. doesn't matter what zodiac sign you are. We're always going to have temptations come back into our life that are direct reflections on things we've already overcome, right? The friends trying to drag you out to a bar or an ex coming back from the past that maybe you've held out for for a long time trying to tempt you or, you know, there's just so many different ways this can show up. But this energy is here for one thing and one thing only, Gemini, and that's to create resistance on your path so you don't implement this change into your life and step into the new timeline and absolutely obliterate any sort of hope that you have for better, however that looks for you. It's an energy that wants to keep you stuck. You know, being on a path, Gemini, of awakening is not a peaceful process. It is by no means an easy process. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of discipline, responsibility. It's a very spiritually violent process because there's parts of the journey that can become very painful. And it typically has to do with the things that we're being guided to leave behind, the things that don't serve our highest good, the things that are keeping us in a lower vibration, which has a direct impact on the timeline that we are existing on question everything and as time goes on it just it really does become second nature it gets easier as you go but from someone who has been on this path now for quite a while i can confirm that the obstacles the tests never go away and a lot of it has to do i feel with loneliness or isolation which are some of the basic requirements when it comes to being on this path, at least for a certain period of time. You know, you need to be alone for a little while, and this is why the hermit energy exists. And it's during those times when we're most tested. I'm hearing 40 days and 40 nights, right? So when Jesus was in the uh, desert fasting and being tempted by the devil, very similar to something like this, right? It's like you're in the process of elevation, and the devil comes onto your path to tempt you to just stop, just Give it up. You don't need to do all that, Gemini. Don't you want to have fun? Just stop being so boring, Gemini. Let's go out and party. However that looks for you, Gemini. The devil will create a little fun house of all our temptations. He'll dress it up real nice as a means to keep us off our path. What do we have for the crown, please? Two of Wands. Aries energy at the crown. Gemini, the way you're going to overcome what I'm picking up here is by implementing perspective, by not allowing your mind to drift and re-engage into the simulation, right? It's going to take mind power for you right now, which is right in your wheelhouse, Gemini, because you are about the mind. So you can overcome this. This Two of Wands is speaking about you taking this perspective, right? I feel like 
this individual here, the feminine here, doesn't matter what gender you are, but it's almost like the feminine to me is like a guide, like Gemini. Have a look at your life. Look at how far you've come. Consider everything we're telling you here. And remember to keep perspective over the path that you are traveling in your everyday waking life. See, this is how we really always want to be. It's like there's a globe. You're looking down over your life through the eyes of the universe. Perspective. It's a vantage point. You're looking at things from this wider perspective. You can see their trajectory, right, of what your path may be. Re-engaging in the simulation into the matrix is to come out of this perspective shift and zoom back in, right, to the everyday grind. That's how I see it, Gemini. Perspective is everything. What do we have at the foundation, please? Four Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Valfor. I just heard that this energy is trying to distract you from receiving your spiritual inheritance, right? Which is all connected to this next level up. Now, the way I understand something like a spiritual inheritance is all connected to the blessings you receive once you make it past this test and step into the new timeline. All of a sudden, you're presented with new opportunities. Doors are opening up for you on this new timeline, which allows the divine to funnel through your spiritual inheritance and blessings to you. It's not a chest of gold that drops out of the sky, Gemini. Sometimes it even comes through in the form of downloads that you receive from the divine. The divine says, hey, do this and do that, and then you'll be able to receive these fruits for this labor that you've put in. But there's something here that is trying to block this, which is telling me that it's of great importance. I truly believe that each one of us is tasked with something that's important on our path. It's like we all work in tandem to create a shift. And these shifts, energetically speaking, are all connected to the path we have to walk. It's like the universe needs to make sure that we're in a specific place at a specific time for a specific reason. There's really just no way in telling what that is. But what we can do is just make sure that we're always allowing ourselves to be available to access the downloads, the guidance, and the instructions on how we are to move. And then everything else will just fall into place. Life in this three-dimensional density is littered with temptation. It's all around us. It's in everything. Food. People. Addictions, behavioral patterns, things we consume into our mind, it's everywhere. We can't change that, but we can change how we allow it to affect us. We can change what we allow ourselves to give our energy to and engage with. But this energy here that I'm picking up on, it's strong. It's like as I'm channeling this, I can feel something trying to take the download away from me. Like they don't want me to give this message to you. What do we have the sacral, please? <sighs> wow. Further confirmation. Knight of Cups. Read this card. And it's negative polarity. This is like uh, Prince Charming in reverse. <laughs> this is an energy that is expecting you to indulge in a daydream with them, right? It goes back to what I said about the devil making up this like little fantasy realm, this uh, illusion, right? Come over here, Gemini. Don't you love me? Everything's over here that you've always wanted. Come step into this fairy tale, right? It's like this kind of energy. And it's again, right underneath, right? The temptation. The fruit, the apple. I'm hearing, Gemini, that whatever this is here is just so incredibly unrealistic, so incredibly delusional, but it's going to stare you in the face anyway, which speaks about how desperate the devil has become to stop you in your tracks. Gemini, you are on the 
precipice of this unbelievable breakthrough in your life. But you need to remember that in the 11th hour, you're going to be faced with a test, a decision unlike any other that you've ever faced. You can't overcome this because the whole reason why I'm giving this message to you here now is so you can hold this with you. So when it shows up, you'll know. You'll be like, oh my God, Pluto was just telling me about this. And then here it is. Yes, Gemini. What do we have in the solar plexus, please? Ooh. Unbelievable. High Priestess again. Pisces energy. Dantelion. And as you can see here, it's like a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other. Come on, Gemini. The angel's like, no, 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 Gemini, don't do it. And the devil's like, don't listen to that. Boring nincompoop. Come on, Gemini, let's go. Don't you love me, Gemini? Come back for you. Some of you are actually aware what this is, and you may even be laughing at yourself right now of the idea of being faced with this person or this uh, decision again, which speaks about how strong you truly have become, right? But either way, you still need to know that this is what's in the energy for you, okay? And for others of you who may feel a little weak to this energy, just know that once you break through this, there'll be a, a shifting in the energy to where it's like you take this power position. Uh, interestingly enough, I just heard when the runner becomes the, the chaser, right? So which can speak about, again, this being somebody that you've been holding out for. And now it's like you see them in a different light. You're like, I don't even want this person anymore, which has some sort of a healing effect on you. It also gives you some sort of validation, I feel. It just really depends what your situation is here. But I mean, we have the Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Lovers all right here. Next to two high priestess, which are reading essentially in the same energy, because this is a reversal, and I read this and it's negative polarity. Not to mention, we have the tower at the sacral and the death card at the third eye. This is a very powerful energy here, Gemini. It's like you're playing a video game and you reach the final level and you have to beat the final monster, right? The final monster. That's what this feels like. But it's showing up in the form of something that you were once weak to, Gemini. What do we have at the heart, please? Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Ammon. This energy might even try and make you feel sorry for them, this individual might um, approach you like they need your help with something. This is going to be for some of you, not all of you. Because they're trying to take advantage of your kindness. Don't fall for this, Gemini. Especially if you've had dealings with this person before and you know how they get down. Do not entertain this, no matter what. It's not worth it. This person, for a group of you, may be going through some financial difficulties. There's a lot of instability in this person's life, a lot of uh, disorder. Okay, this person uh, is in uh, a victim kind of energy and they've reduced themselves to dragging other individuals down with them because they don't know how to turn around their life and better their circumstances. And then we have Asha Ia, which is the five of pentacles, Taurus energy underneath that lovers at the heart. Patience. And as you can see there, it's like you're praying, right? It's like you're praying this energy off. And just energy of trying to remain very balanced. This person, uh, I feel, is going through some sort of uh, karma. It's, I'm picking up an energy of poverty here as well. And again, they want to drag you down with them. I'm also hearing something about uh, you being careful how you move here, Gemini, because there seems to be a, a... I'm picking up something. It's like a transference of karma, okay? Now, the only way that this is really possible is if it's not somebody transferring their bad karma onto you, but it's you just getting wrapped up with this individual and you're around them, right? So now all of a sudden you're on that lower timeline sharing in their horrible reality with them. 
that is all under this cloud of poverty. So you are essentially sharing in on the things that they deal with on the day-to-day -day in regards to their karma, okay? And this goes back to what I said at the beginning of the reading in regards to you lowering your standards and manifesting yourself onto a timeline that reflects that. This confirms all of that. And it's one of these situations as well with this lover. It's like, for some of you, you know, it's veiled. It's like it comes through like, oh yeah, Gemini, I'm, my life's together, everything's going great, right? They hide it. But then, once you're invested and they've got you right where they want you, it's like they open up the gates of hell. What do we have at the throat, please? Three of Cups, Cancer Energy at the throat. Gemini, you have a lot of support around you right now. There's a lot of individuals on the other side rooting for you right now. It's like you're about to cross the finish line, but then all of a sudden this energy comes in, right? Hey, Gemini, Gemini, come over here, Gemini. Follow my voice, Gemini. You're like, wait, what? And it's like your spirit team's like, no, Gemini. Don't walk into the light, Gemini. Don't walk into the light. See, that really speaks about an energy that's presenting itself as something divine. You know, I saw this, um, I think it was like a TikTok video, and these individuals were talking about when people pass away and, you know, we have these beings that come to us and they're trying to get us to walk into the light. And these individuals in the TikTok videos were saying, yeah, don't walk into the light. That's you being reincarnated back into another life cycle. And I just thought that was so interesting, right? There's like an energy like trying to fool you by presenting themselves as being a part of the light. And what I said here just I mean, made me think about that, whether or not that's true, who knows? I mean, I wouldn't really trust anything you see on TikTok, but just an interesting concept um, nonetheless, you know. But in the case of this energy here, it is trying to present itself as something it is definitely not, which tells me that it knows you, Gemini. It knows your weakness, but it's no longer a weakness if you can overcome this. Now it's become a strength. So you do have an opportunity here, Gemini. And I feel that that's all a part of your graduation process. You must pass the final test of overcoming the final temptation so you can step into the new timeline. And this Three of Cups is right underneath this High Priestess. So it's like an energy that has a hidden agenda that presents itself as the light, an energy that supports you. What do we have in the third eye, please? Eight of Cups. Pisces energy. E-I-L. God, the pleasure of man's children. Transformation gives consolation in adversity. And see how it's like you're turning over this jug. You're like, wait, there's nothing in there. Oh no, I've been, I've been bamboozled. Gemini, you've already been through this test with this energy. This is not your first rodeo. But to be presented with it again in this capacity speaks about there still being something there. It's like somebody saying, I would never speak to that person ever again. But then when that person's in front of their face, they're like, oh, 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 hey. Right? It's like something along these lines. But you're being given the opportunity to finally confront this Gemini and you walking away, you taking that power back, right? You know, it's like somebody who stomps all over your heart and leaves you in the dust, never to return. And then they return right? But it's like you have this opportunity now to tell them, no, I'm not interested anymore. And it's like in this moment, you take back this power after years and years of feeling like this energy took something from you. You're able to reclaim it and you walk away, never to look back again. This is a form of justice. Oh, 
Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy at the crown to close out the reading, Gemini. Aladia, the favorable God, divine grace, cures rage and pestilence, absolves the guilty. So, this Six of Pentacles here is speaking about a kind of balance being restored, Gemini, in regards to something that left you feeling very defeated and cheated. It's like you get the opportunity to reclaim something that you lost. It's in this moment that you truly begin to understand that the divine is with you. God is walking with you. You now move forward with a kind of faith that cannot be broken. There's this hope that you encompass, Gemini, that just becomes so infectious on your path that everybody that you come in contact with feels blessed by the mere presence of this newfound sense of hope and clarity that you've gained through your trials and tribulations. Simply put, Gemini, you just master something in your life and people can just sense it all over you now. Your energy becomes infectious. There's a kind of beauty that I'm picking up intuitively. And this is all a result of you overcoming this and stepping into the new timeline. You're just a more evolved version of yourself. And the divine is giving you the opportunity to take all of your past heartbreaks and put them in the palm of your hands as a means to reclaim your power and heal yourself so you can move forward on your path. Gemini, this is the message I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Gemini. Take care.